Hello, 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 Green Owls, Green Salutations. I have a book and a deck indie Kickstarter um, back deck to share. Alrighty. So this is the book, ETA Emerging Toronto Artists. This arrived in pretty good shape. Um, this is obviously Toronto, Canadian group. Um, they were very smart. They used a New York address to ship this out. Niagara Falls, New York. Right over the border. Very close to Toronto. It's got some dings on it. Uh, it's a little disappointing. It I would have liked for it to have a stiff board in the shipping so that it didn't get ruined. Looks like every cup, every every cup, every card has a full page right up. Here's the lovely. Divine Ten of Wands. This is a collaborative deck. So we've got the Insta for the artist and a uh, website for them. We have uptight and revert uptight. We have uptight meaning and reverse meaning. <laughs> we have kind of um, the or keywords, then we have the meaning. And then we have a blurb about the artist. Um, here are some pictures from the Insta. Stream for ETA Tarot. A little bit about the artwork itself. One thing to consider is with collaborative or multi-artist decks, um, sometimes they come to fruition faster than normal. This took less than a year from concept to delivery. And that is awesome. It's got uh, some spreads here. We've got Thriving Artist Spread, Celtic Cross, Sun and Moon, which is a six card. That's interesting. And then we have the Trump Introductory. And Sun. Here are the two extra cards. The Curator, right under my thumb here. And the Thriving Artist card. And then we jump into the minors, which are all thumbnailed right here on this side. That's beautiful. Stunning. Pentacles is earth, sword, air, cups, water, wands, fire. So that uh, sticks to the RWS. Four court cards. We have the page, knight, king, and queen. Okay, this is the ETA tarot book. Ripper says hello.
Okay, we've got a tuck box. There are two extra cards, which I just uh, showed you from the book, the curator and the emerg emerging artist. Starving artist? Awakening artist? What was the name of that artist card? I don't remember. box got a little dinged, as did the book. Okay, so we have, these were printed in China. It's not like I'm going to eat it or let my dog chew on it, so I'm, I, I'm not so picky about that. Here is the deck card and some info. The backs, we uh, got to vote on the backs. Uh, what one was a purple jewel? That was not my choice. I did not win in the poll. So we've got Celtic Cross spread card, three card thriving artist card. And then, the, so the three cards from the book are on cards as well, the sun and the moon. And we have this blank, tabula rasa. I may leave that in. I like the concept of a tabula rasa blank slate card. All right, are these in order? These are in an order. So I'm going to flip through. Let's see what we have. It's a little overexposed, isn't it? Let me see what I can do about that. That's better. There's no friction on these, no texture. They are a smooth perfectly cut and cornered. No stragglers, no snow fraying. Very velvety cut. Bendy, very bendy card stock. Um, we'll see how that shuffles when we get to it. Okay, so we have the Fool. Let's see if we can zoom in a little. The artist's name is at the bottom. I'm going to do my best not to cover it up. Magician. That's cool. High Priestess. Empress. Emperor. Hierophant, Lovers, Chariot, we have Strength, The Hermit, so she's carrying a flaming tree. 
I have these gateways behind her. She's got some big hair. She's got a flower and horn headdress on and she's derobing or yeah, I guess she's derobing. Kind of looks like she's about to take a dip in a cool lake. Wheel of Fortune. Nah. Justice. I love this. I think everybody loves <laughs> this hanged man. Death, Temperance, Devil, the Tower is very literal, Devil is very subjective, the Star got white converse on. <laughs> and the moon. I really like the color choices. The sun. Glorious. Judgment. It's almost stained glassy in its style. And you have to look pretty close, but there's a lot of symbolism hidden in that stained glass effect as well. Terrell Knox. Lee Howard did the world. The bull, the lion, the angel, and the eagle. And we have a warrior looking um, female globe entity. Just got some sticks to beat some sense into us. Then we go to the curator who is putting the cosmos out there, adding the cosmos to the picture. And then we have the thriving artist. Got some pentacles, a wand, a sword, and the water representing the cup. So this is kind of almost a magician card. And we go to the suit of wands, fire. We have a double helix kind of effect going on. Two of wands. Interesting. Three of wands. Score. Four of wands. Five of wands. Feel the fire in that. Six of wands. Looks like the fire has already come through. These trees are all charred and barren. So the fire is already gone through this valley. Seven of Wands, defend yourself. Got the Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands, Road to Nowhere, or Everywhere, and the Bugling Elk with the Ten of Wands. Gorgeous. Page of Wands, carries over the checkerboard, love that. 
Knight of Wands. Cool. Got symbolism on on tap. Queen of Wands. Intriguing. I like. And the King of Wands. Um, we have the Gecko, we have the Lion, we have the Flowers. We have the, the Staff. We have a live Gecko and a live Lion. We have a Fire fiery crown interesting and it's done in blended colored pencil which is like my fave ace of cups cool ace of cups two of cups One glass is empty, one glass is fullish. So, depending on your decision, you could either have a full cup or an empty cup. How will your love grow? Three of cups, we have this Pip card. Four of cups. One, two, three, four. We have a moon. We have pish. We have a crab. We have an octopus, maybe? Interesting. Five of Cups, uh, Jennifer Willow when Thrifty Witch uh, hit this nail, hit this right on that. This is the perfect Five of Cups. The artist's name is Cam, simply. Perfect Five of Cups. Then we have the Six of Cups and the difference um, when I almost can see, you know, growing up the two sides of your persona. Your inner child and the grown up. It's very interesting. I dig it. Seven of Cups, we have Bedazzled Crystal, and inside each crystal goblet is. Uh, a symbol of an illusion. Very nice. Very nicely done. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, this looks like collage art. Is it digital collage? Or an actual collage? I think it's digital, but it's still lots to look at. One of those looky look through things for at tourist areas with an owl on top. Very tiny. There's an oula on the looky thing. <laughs> Page of Cups um, creeps me out. <laughs> head just barely above water, right? But it's a doll head. Yee! Knight of Cups totally redeems the entire suit of cups right there. Love it. Love it. Love it. Queen of Cups. Love her. King of Cups. It's kind of cool. I love the cattails in, in the foreground. 
and just the textures and the movement, very cool. If he had his eyes open. Maybe I'll add eyeballs. Oh, the symbolism of the Ace of Swords. Very, yeah, messy. <laughs> Two of Swords, Crossroads, Cross Swords, Yin Yang, the Swirl, the Oasis. It's a lot of decision making to do right here. Three of Swords, it's a nice take on the three of swords. Love the clouds actually. Simple. Poignant. Four of cord. Four of swords. This is poignant. We have the masculine and the feminine balanced. Resting uh, with um, old style gas masks. Um, so Something bad is coming, but they're resting right now. Looming dooming. That's kind of what we call it around here. That's looming dooming. And we have the five of swords. Two earrings. Three off the tongue. Um, I'm going to pull this card out because there is a I Ching. symbol there. And I'm going to look that one up. Six of Swords. Going on a sea cruise. Seven of Swords. Uh, okay. Okay. Eight of Swords. I love this. Catherine Hennessy. It kind of reminds me of the Oracle of Echoes by uh, Luna Solare. Anatorian, so. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Spooky. Unfortunateness there. Ten of Swords. It gets worse. like something out of uh, out of as a as a thought the page of swords this is photo collage some interesting details to look at up on top don't hate the page of swords or the knight of swords I almost wish I saw a little bit more of this scene just a little bit more Because this, she looks like she's not moving, but the horse looks like it is moving. So uh, there's some... And then the wind going on. Look at the tree bent over in the background. So it's, it's very interesting. Is there movement or isn't there movement? Is there something right now or in the future? Queen of Swords... This is an all-action queen. This is not sit-and-think-about-it queen. And it's creepy, too. And here we have 
a king of swords in shadow on shadowed in the dark on throne it's kind of like a fisheye lens from right in front of him and so it's an interesting art point of view perspective Ace of Pentacles, I like this very much. Very much. Hope I like the Queen. Two of Pence. We have a Cobra. Uh, kind of like a Yogi sitting on a cairn in the middle of the ocean. And we have two um, big ships out there. Crescent Moon. And we have the high-tech uh, projection behind. It's all very interesting. And the storm. Storm and clear skies. Clear sailing, storminess. I guess that's the balance. Interesting. Three. I love this as a pip card. Dana McCool. Dana McCool, your card is cool. I love the colors. I love that the knot work here, it kind of gives a sense, is it a brain? Are they fish? You know, what are they? What are those knots? That's interesting. Very interesting. So cool. Thank you. The Four of Pence. And we go from that little piece of knot work to this person is literally tied up in knots. And we have Five of Pence. Catreon Art. Six of Pence. One of these things is not like the other. Kind of similar to the wheel, I think. So, Steph Braithwaite did a musculature. That's very cool. Eight of Pence. Skill. Bum, bum, bum. But it's still kind of... She's outside and there's brick wall but the, it's weird. Is it outside? Because here it looks like it's outside, but here it looks like it's inside. Is it outside or is it inside? The Nine of Pence. We have the Raptor, who is all geared out. Um, she is lush, lush hair, lush tattoo art, lush grapes, draped in grapes, and you've got the blood moon with the pentacles, but then it looks like you have a strip mine pit. So we have to do better to take care of the ten of pence. This is the card that made me buy the deck or invest in the deck, or back the deck. I love the blue. I love this shade of blue. Page of Pentacles. I don't get it.
I don't not like it. I just don't get it. Knight of Pentacles. Martin Sterling. Martin, your work on that horse and those trees. This is awesome. Awesome. Thank you for this. The Queen of Pence does mat work with the Ace of Pence. Um, she's got uh, cotton and wheat in her crown. The crown is digitally collaged. Yeah, it's stunning. Bravo. Brava. King of Pence. We have a crystal skull. I wonder if this is a real crystal skull or if this is digital. Because it is glorious. King of Pence, the Earth of Earth. Okay, so I want to take a look at this I Ching mention. So that's the Five of Swords. Let's see what the book says here. Five of Swords is traditionally a card that represents a negative sense of ambition, hurting others. Uh, in Kabbalah, with a K, the fifth Sephira is Gaburah. Governing all the Tarot Five, she represents severity, the aspect of the Creator that deals with us using tough love. This is a representation of Kali, in case we had any doubt. So I need to look up this I Ching symbol. I'm going to do that in my Benabel Wen Metaphysician Planner. Oh, well, I was thumbing through it last night, working on an activity. And I know I saw the I Ching table. Okay, now we're going to match up. So we have two one one two one two. Two one one and then one two or two one 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 two one two. Hmm. Okay, so we have lake over lake over water. So that is for The lake and water, key 47, is the iron hand, so that matches Kelly. That's well researched and stuck in there. Good job. I appreciate it when the details sink. Alright, so let's give this deck a shuff, shuff, shuffle. So just by being out of the cello, they are bending just a touch that way. It's an easy shuffle. It's a soft shuffle. I mean, you could overbend these. Mm. 
mix is nice. Not perfect. Me like it. Me like it. I've been talking for 30, 36 minutes. Holy jeez. Apparently I do really like it. Usually flip flare takes me half this time. Maybe I'll have to put it on fast forward a little bit. Fast forward. I cut this down to a 20 minute video just by speeding up the encoding. Queen of Pence, and from the shadow side, Five of Wands. Perfect. I like how these are talking. There you go. What do you think? You like it? Be happy, be healthy, learn something new every day. This was the Emerging Toronto Artist Tarot Deck. I believe there are still decks available. Check it out. Um, this is just a standard vanilla tuck box. Um, the cardstock is bendy. Very bendy. And it bounces back nicely. And the backs are basically reversible. The shading is a little bit different. If you can see, it's more purple. Here, let's reverse it and you can see it better side by side. More purple, gradient, and golden. So they're not 100% reversible. They have a little bit of wash of color on one end. But yeah, that is my review. Not review. Flip through. First impressions. Hands on. Ciao for now.